gosh, I hope that we got this whole wardrobe look thing right, you know, because last week Angela from Duluth posted that she thought that my look was too New York. I mean, you know, what am I supposed to do? I'm trying to strive that fine line between, like, fashion forward, but the Midwest, what the Midwest wants. And I thought maybe they would like this nice ice, silver, you yeah, know, kind of like that movie where they fix happy. everything. Uh, how can we make you happy? You don't seem happy. Oh, my gosh. It's so green. The, the tree? And, and, and sad. Look, it's also, like, dying on the bottom. Look. So can somebody cheer up this tree, please? Oh, and whoa, whoa, make, whoa, make whoa, whoa, green. whoa. What's going on with all the cars? Traffic I thought it'd jam. be cute. This, this is the, the, the Empire State Building. I mean, it's supposed to be magnificent. I mean, it's just a ginger, but I know what the scale, the scale. It's like, it's staying on the car's name, okay? okay. I'm sorry. A. You got it. You got it. Cars okay. out of there, but good job with everything else. Really good. Love yeah, it. Yeah, really good. Okay. Okay, where's that turkey? I am so excited. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh! oh. oh. I'm so sorry. Oh. so sorry. I spent an hour and a half on the left thigh alone. Don't worry, we have a backup turkey. Got it, back up. Oh. Okay, but we don't have a backup shirt, do we? Yeah. We don't have a backup shirt. Backup shirt. Yeah. That's not the same shirt. It's the same shirt, just a different color. But it's green. I hate green. No, no green. Hey, uh, uh, listen, uh, everything is going to be okay. We uh, we can spray uh, the backup turkey, uh, and we'll be good. No, it won't be perfect. Everything was supposed to be perfect. It's the holiday special. Yeah, no, no, no. It, it'll, it'll totally be perfect. Okay, people, let's wrap that back up, turkey. Mmm. Ah, oh, it looks so delicious. I just can't wait to eat that turkey. So, thank you so much for joining me on my Christmas special. I'm Jennifer Wade, and from all of us at Homestyle, we wish you a Christmas to remember. And try it! That was fabulous. Congratulations. Thanks, Paula. But was it special enough for Christmas? Oh, honey, come on. Nobody does Christmas like you do. And your piece is about to come out in a Roma magazine, which means you've got some momentum, and soon everybody will know who Jennifer Wade is. So no pressure is what you're saying. <laughs> no pressure. Tell me, you are coming to my party tonight? Bring Brad. Oh, come on, Paula. Oh, I know he's not your ideal man, but he's a very popular sportscaster, and being seen with him will build up your brand. I feel like we're in the old country and this is an arranged marriage. <laughs> no, Paula, I think my brand and I are just going to go home and take a nice hot bath and go to bed. I am just not feeling very social tonight. I know your feelings about the holidays. What do you mean? Well, I know that they're very hard on you. That's ridiculous. I just did an entire show based on Christmas. <laughs> well, you always seem to get so stressed out. Music, you don't like eggnog. <laughs> Who does like eggnog? Well, I do. Yeah, right. No, you know, to be honest, it's just... My mom made Christmas so special, and, you know, she was so wonderful at it. And since she's been gone, it just hasn't really been the same for me, but it'll be fine. You know, your show is going to be a huge success, and it's going to reach millions of people. If you come to my party, I promise you won't have to do anything for a whole week. You're serious? Yes! Listen, I have the most gorgeous Gorgeous chalet near Aspen. Go there. Total peace and quiet. You'll love it. And it's right next to the best hiking trails you could imagine. Hiking? Paula, this is me you're talking to. I know, right? But it's also a stone's throw away from the best spa. I do love a good spa. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta forget about everything and get away. All right. Thank you, Paula. That's an amazingly generous offer. Thank oh, you. Stop. It's the least I can do. Now, you... Come to my party tonight and bring Brad. Oh, I guess I have to now. You do. I'll see you later. Bye. Nancy, how are you doing? Dr. Blake, thank you so much for coming. Katie just doesn't seem herself. Hmm. Well, let's take a look at the little patient. There she is. I, 
guess I'm just a nervous mom. Huh. Hey, Katie. Hmm. How are you doing, sweetie? Feeling okay? Let's take a look here. A little bit of rest is all she needs. Katie is going to be just fine. How are your kids? Good. Good. Jamie is reading every book she can get her hands on. Kyle wants to be a vet, just like his old man. And Daisy is Daisy. Have you decided what to do about your practice? Well, I've got my eye on a spot in town where I'm thinking of setting up my office. What about the barn where your wife kept her horses? It's such a beautiful old building. Yeah, it is. Just, um... I'm not sure I'm ready yet. Well, I better get going. I have a few more house calls to make. Please, don't get out. Don't get out. <laughs> what do I owe you for today? No charge. It's Christmas. Yeah. It's a good fit. You're going to Colorado. Well, I was hoping that we'd go to all the holiday parties here in New York. Well, sorry, Brad, but when Paula offered me her, her cabin, I don't know, just, if I can't get away for the holidays, then I work the other 51 weeks of the year. Well, I understand. It's just, uh, it'll take too long for your career and my career. And we'd be unstoppable. Oh, wow! Honey, you look gorgeous. Oh, thanks, Paula. Oh, oh and Brad, well, you look as handsome as always. My lady. I am so glad that you came and you came together. Well, thank you, Paula. Your party is amazing, and you and your apartment, but especially you, look stunning. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Can I borrow her? Just for a minute. Mm -hmm. Come with me and allow me to introduce you to the network president. He's right over here by the crudite. Thanks for coming. Bye now. Jennifer, what are you doing? I'm what cleaning you doing? your kitchen. You've got so much here. No, 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 Come no, on, no, no. You can't no, do no. it all alone. No, stop. As of now, you are officially on vacation. Make that your last batch. Right. Come on, I want you to have a drink with me. Just leave all this. Oh, Christmas is so much work. Christmas comes with a stick. But you are so good at it. And it's people like us. Well, we don't know how to do anything else but make it perfect. Yeah, when was the last time that it didn't feel like work? That it felt like a real Christmas? Oh. <laughs> well, Madarin, if I tell you that, then I'll be telling you my age. <laughs> you know, I, I remember this one Christmas when my mom made me, sewed me this special dress. I was playing an angel in the Christmas pageant at church. Mm -hmm. And it was all sparkly and glowing, almost iridescent, and I loved it so much. I didn't want to take it off even when we got home, so she let me fall asleep on the couch waiting for Santa, and I fell asleep with the sound of Christmas music and the smell of gingerbread and the feeling of her hand on my hair. And it was so magical. And I just don't know if Christmas is ever going to feel like that again. I mean, it just... You know, not this pressure to be perfect, just the simple magic of Christmas. You know, your mom sounds like she was a wonderful woman. And maybe you can have it that way again. Simple and perfect. Here's to my mom who made Christmas magical. To your mom. You know, but I should be getting going. If I'm gonna get to Colorado in the morning, I have to, you know, pack. Yes, you do. <laughs> I'll call you when I get there. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Well, this is nice. It is. It's nice. I just can't believe we've never been on a date before. Hmm. Because you know, I had a crush on you in high school. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. I... I definitely... I didn't know that. Oh, come on. <laughs> I... I... <laughs> but you were the quarterback and I was the cheerleader. We should have been a couple. I guess so. But then you got married and then she... <clears throat> I'm 
I'm sorry. I don't know why I brought that up. It's okay. It's all right. So how how's you your burger? It, my burger is it was good. It was fine. How, um, how's your, how's your tofu? Did you try it? Do you I, want some? I didn't. You should try it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, you should actually really honestly, try it. I'm not a it's tofu. really good. Try, I, try, try. I really don't want Come it. on. Okay. <laughs> mm. It's good, right? Do you like mm -hmm. it? Mm-hmm. Mm. Interesting consistency. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, who should be asleep and not reading at this hour. Uh, no. Just trying to finish this chapter. You know what, you're gonna have to finish the chapter tomorrow, really. Oh. Yes, the suspense will keep you awake. Take your light off, please. I'll figure it out, you get in bed. Come on, I'll take this. It's okay. All right, all right, young lady. Nighty night. Night night. Sweet dreams, okay? Okay. Okay, love you. Hey, Biscuit. Mm. Dad! John, what'd you make for dinner? Oh, stroking off again. Bunny made it. It's simple, the kids love it. You don't like it, I got some kibble you can help yourself to. So I'll take the stroke. Mm -hmm. Double sixes! Again! Well, I love it. So how things go? What's your name? Oh, well, she force-fed me tofu. Ooh. Yeah, it wasn't a good fit. I really like being set up anyway. I'll tell you the truth, I think these things should happen naturally and organically, come together easily, you know, like two pieces of a puzzle. Jennifer Wade. That's Jennifer Wade, yes. Yep, we got a nice four-wheel drive SUV. Ooh, do you have anything a little faster? I was really hoping to get there before it's too dark. Uh, thanks for coming down with the storm coming in. How's she doing? Not so good. It's a breach for sure. Your mare is having a fool. That's right. It's a good thing your dad's here. Let's Just get here. to it. You ready, buddy? Yeah! Hey, sweetie. There she is. Okay, Colorado, you better be worth it. Can't see anything. What? No. No. Come on. Pretty amazing, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah. And she's gonna be okay now. Mm -hmm. And the fool? She knows exactly what to do. They're both gonna be just fine. Don't you worry. Okay. I was pretty worried before you got here. <laughs> uh, hey, John. Can I have a word? Of course. Kyle, why don't you head to the truck? I'll be oh. there in a sec. Okay. Uh, I hate to do this, but um, we're a little bit short right now. Stay uh, don't worry about it. It's the holidays. I will settle up with you in the new year. Okay. Thank you, John. We got it. Uh, in the meantime, we'll take one of Holly's apple pies. She makes the best in the county. Oh, we would love that. Great. Okay. Wait a second. This is not... No, this is not where it's supposed to be. Come on. I need perception. Yes.
How's that pie? Still warm. expecting the storm to last anywhere from 24 to 48 hours. Wow, well, that sounds like good sledding weather to me. Yeah. <sighs> you okay? Yeah. Hey, you stay right here, okay? Okay. Be right back. Are you okay? Are you... I'm so sorry, I, I didn't see you, what? What What are you doing? What are you doing out here? I don't know. Hey, hey. What's going on? Did your, did your car break down? Did you... What? Are you alright? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh okay. Alright, you got quite a... A head laceration there. We should take care of that. Okay, Kyle, move over, buddy. There we go. Over, over there. Up, up, up. All the way. There we go. All the way. Watch your feet. Watch your toes. Uh, what is this? You just sat on a pie. A pie? Look at that cut on your head. It, it looks pretty bad. We should get you back and, and, and take a look at that. Okay, Eat gentle, gentle. Uh, oh, you Really red? Yeah. No, I'm fine. I'm just going to take a look now. Okay. Dad, she felt a sick body. Is she going to be okay? I think she's going to be fine. The sooner we get her home, keep an eye on her, the better. Okay? So what are we going to do with her? I actually have no idea. Hi, I'm Daisy. I'm four and a half. This is my bedroom, but you can sleep in here if you want to. Sometimes my friends sleep over. That's my dog, Biscuit, and this is my doll, Sally. Do you have a doll? I don't think so. The pretty lady woke up! Where am I? Oh, you're okay. You're, uh, you're in our home. I am John Blake, and, and this, is, this is my daughter, Daisy. How you feeling? Um, kind of beat up. Don't worry, he's a doctor. He is? A doctor for animals. Yes, I'm a veterinarian, but uh, the principles are, are pretty much the same. Do you mind if I take a quick look? Sure. I'm just gonna um, check out your pupils, okay? Yeah. This might be a little bright in, in your eye, but I just wanna see how responsive they are. Now, I do have a, an MD coming as soon as she possibly can, but the roads are all closed from the storm. Storm? Yeah, there was a big storm. Like a tornado? Nope, no, like a snowstorm, lots of snow. The good news is your pupils are completely responsive now, no more signs of shock. You do have a mild concussion, a little cut on your head, a little last ah! Gentle. Uh, uh. It's okay, it's nothing serious though. You actually you actually seem pretty good. Oh. Do you remember anything? No. But how did I get here? My son Kyle and I, we, we found you wandering on the road. Do you remember that? You got in the truck, you No. You, you sat on a pie? Do you remember any of this? No. No? None of it. Can you tell me your name? Um, my name is, um, I'm, I don't know my name. Oh my gosh, I don't know my name. It's okay, it's okay, it's really important to try and just stay calm <sighs> right now. Just work with what we do, we'll work with the situation. Let's, let's rewind, and, and what is the first thing you do remember from before we found you? Like, were you uh, visiting someone? Were you maybe driving and, and got in an accident? Do you remember any of that? I, I don't remember. You're going to be all right. And you look good in the pajamas, which is important. What? Who, who dressed me in this? The kid's grandmother, Bunny. And I also helped because I want to be a doctor or a writer or maybe even a pilot. This is my oldest daughter, Jamie. And, um, you know, you're going to be fine. 
Really, we brought some clothes for you, so when you're ready, you just put these on, you come downstairs, and we'll get you some food and uh, fill your tummy. I'm sure that'll make you feel better, okay? In the meantime, is there anything else that, that you need from us? Anything else that we can get you? Um, I don't remember if I do. Okay, well, if you do remember, you just let us know, okay? We'll be right downstairs. Careful, they're a little bit hot, but make sure Kyle gets them. Kyle, be careful, they're very hot. Hey! Morning. Um, grab a plate, help yourself to whatever you want. We've got plenty of everything, and we've got, um, coffee, of course. How do you take your coffee? Uh, I, I don't know, um, uh, hot? Hot? Good news, I've got hot coffee. Here you go. Keep it black, and then if you want any cream or sugar... my glass. Do you know your name now? No, no, I, I, I don't know it yet. Not yet. I know how to tell me she would want to see. Uh, oh, okay. Oh. Oh, uh, Daisy, on, the on the counter? Seriously? Uh, at least she's wearing her slippers. Yeah. Good job, good job, good job. Oh, okay. So oh. my head's not bleeding anymore. That's good. Maybe I'm, I'm ready to go, because I, I think I should find someone who knows who I am. So I think I'm just going to go and find that human doctor, and, and, and thank you, that, yeah. Well, the doctor's going to be here as soon as the roads are clear, I promise. Then. Oh, no, that's okay. Don't worry about me. I'll, I'll just go to the doctor. It's cool. Thank you. Thank you. You're such a nice family. Bye. Thank you. There was a, there was a storm. <laughs> snow? Yeah, lots of snow. Lots of snow. Let's go back inside. I mean, this has to be solvable, right? I mean, you can't just get lost in the world, can you? I mean, I have to have a family mm -hmm. somewhere, right? Because everybody has some kind of family or, or friend. Like a best friend, maybe, who's looking for me. Oh. Of course, somebody's got to be looking for you. You know what? We're all smart people here, so why don't we try to come up with what we can figure out about you now, okay? Hey. Okay. okay, great. So. What do we know about you? Nothing. Kyle, not helpful. And secondly, not true. Jamie, go get the chore board. It isn't true because we know you were out on the road that night. So what were you doing out there? You were, you were out for a walk. In the snow? We go for walks in the snow. But are you wearing four inch heel boots? Maybe you're a bank robber on the land and you're only pretending to have amnesia long enough to find the money stashed in the woods. I'm going to guess you were up for a drive. I'm going to go with that. Although, we didn't see a car anywhere near you that night. But either way, Jamie, put that car. Okay, Dad. Put that down. Wait, wait, what about the clothes that I was wearing? Because maybe in the pockets are the keys to that car or some other clue to identify me. I washed them. Why did you wash them? You sat on a pie. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, where's the rest of it? It got tiny, but I checked really carefully in all the pockets, and you didn't have anything. I'm really sorry. It's okay. It's all right. Let's get back to the board. We're on a roll here. We're figuring stuff out. So you were out there. So basically putting it all together, you're saying that I'm here with no idea of where I came from and no idea where I was going to, and no idea if somebody is looking for me, and no idea who I am, but we do know that I have this one thing to my name, if I had a name. Hey, it's gonna be okay, it really is. We have everything that we need here, really. If you think about it, we got wood for the fire to keep us warm. We have a whole cellar full of food. And biscuit to protect us. Yeah. Somebody's gonna come forward, okay? I mean it. And I'm gonna go right now, I'm gonna go make some phone calls and find out if anybody's looking for you, okay? Okay. You're gonna be good. We're gonna figure this out. Is the sheriff around? Okay, well, I'd like to file a found person report. N nope, not a missing person report. They found someone. We found someone without any ID and, and clearly suffering a little uh, memory loss. But otherwise, she seems fine. Follow the yo-yo back and forth. You are getting sleepy. Very, very sleepy. I'm a pilot, I'm a ballerina, I'm a dentist. I don't know. You're getting sleepy. Very sleepy. Are you a pale, paleontologist? Are you a surfer? Are you an astronaut? You are getting very sleepy. I'm getting very dizzy. 
Okay, well, just make sure you get the word out, please. Bye. All right, well, I called just about everybody that we know, and um, no luck yet, but they are going to get the word out. And the sheriff and his wife, the MD, will be here tomorrow after they get back. It's going to be okay. I'm sure somebody's looking for you right now. Okay. I think we'll go back to bed. Thank you. Hello, Jennifer. I'm sure by now you've settled into the chalet and are luxuriating in your solitude. And you've probably also found the spa. <laughs> Listen, darling, you don't have to call me back right away. But do call me. Okay. Ciao. She coming for dinner? No? Can I have her hot dog? Yeah, sure can. What are we going to do about her? She's lost. We have to help her find her way home. It's important to help those in need, including people that we don't know. Especially at Christmas, right? And as soon as we figure out who she is, she'll go back to where she's from, and then everything here will be, will be back to normal. I like her. She reminds me of... Shh. Hey, do you, anyone call for me? Oh, not yet. I'm sure it'll be any minute, though. How are you feeling? I'm, I'm a little fuzzy still, but I'm fine. Okay. How about a bologna omelet? I don't think I've ever heard of that. You've never heard of anything. Kyle. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> Can I help you? Yes. We'll help together. Okay. Cool. Huh. Bologna. Yummy. I don't think this is part of my regular diet. I've got some friends coming over that will hopefully be able to help you out. Yeah? That's cool. And voila. A rose for a rose. That's really fancy. I don't know how I did that. It smells delicious. Hey! Good to see you. Come on, come on, come on. Hi there. Nice to see you. It's cold out there. Come on, okay. This is Sheriff Tim Edwards and his wife, Dr. Edwards. Oh, Sylvia. Oh, Sylvia. Hi. Can you tell me what happened? Um, I guess I got hit on the head. But I don't remember how it happened, and I remember nothing from before that at all. Um, the first thing I can remember is walking around on the road, and then John and Kyle found me, and then I sat on a pie. Oh. Any nausea or fatigue? No. I mean, I, I'm a little bit groggy all the time, but um, I'm okay, and I'm hungry a lot. Oh, that's good. Can you follow my finger, please? Okay, and press down on my hands. Good girl. Do you remember about where you were? Oh, we were coming back from the barber's place. Oh, it's pretty isolated out there. Do you think you might know anyone around here? Gosh, I wish I did. I mean, maybe I do. I just don't remember if I do or did. There's no sign of any traumatic brain injury. Really? Motor functions and reflexes are good. John did a good job on the cut. Memory is a tricky thing, but you honestly seem perfectly healthy. If you don't mind... What? There we go. The deputy put out a countywide bulletin with your description, but this picture here will really help. Oh, oh, okay, great. Uh, I hope so, because, I mean, there's got to be somebody out there looking for me, right? Hello, everybody. Bunny. We came down to meet the special guests. Well, this is Bunny and Emmett. This is the kid's grandparents. <laughs> Hi. It's so lovely to meet you. You too. Okay. All right, everybody. All right. Listen, we've got everything we need. We'll be on our way. Okay, thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. you take care. Thank you. See you okay, soon. absolutely great. Uh, Sheriff and, um... <sighs> so when will I start remembering things again? Two days, two weeks, you never know. But the good news is you'll eventually come out of it, I'm sure of it. Well, isn't there anything that I can do? Good food, good sleep are really the best medicine. Call me if you need me. 
Thank you. She said I just need to eat, sleep, and relax. Oh, sweetheart, are you starting to remember anything yet? Mm, that I have not had a bologna omelet before. Well, we can fix that. Yeah, we sure can. Now, Bonnie's also a registered nurse. I think I mentioned to you that she was the one who took a look at you the other night to make sure that you were okay. Oh, my goodness, what are they calling you? I, I don't know. <laughs> Nothing yet. They get an animal in here. It's named in five minutes flat. <laughs> what would you like us to call you? I don't know. What, what do I look like? <laughs> That's your doll's name, Daisy. Carrie, Bethany, Maggie, Jenny. Maggie? Maggie has a nice ring to it. You look like a Maggie. Oh, thanks, I think. Yeah, I like Maggie. <laughs> yeah, me too. Come on. All right. Maggie. Hey. So I have an idea. What do you say we go for a ride, we get outside, we visit some people, and see if anybody recognizes you? Sounds like a good idea. Bunny, you guys okay watching the kids for a while? Oh, get out of here. Enjoy yourself. There's nowhere prettier in the world. Thank you. Okay, come on. Thank you. I'm not getting on that thing. Oh, yeah, you are. Come on, hop on. Well, where are we going? Just around the neighborhood. Hold on tight. See you. Good to see you. Hi. We have been uh, snowed in the last few days with the kids, so we decide to make the best of it. Hey, hey. Really do up the tree this year. Oh, wow. Nice. Here. I just made eggnog. Eggnog? Oh. Wonderful. Family recipe. Someday you'll get me on TV and make me rich. <laughs> And you arrived just in time. We are about to put the star up. This is their favorite part. You ready? Where's your star? One, two, three. Yeah. Now it feels like Christmas. Mmm, <laughs> stroganoff. You know stroganoff? I do. Yes. The mine is an amazing thing. <sighs> Smells good. Hey, Dan. Dan, Dan, this is Maggie. Maggie, uh, this is this is Dan. Hi. Hi. You want a bowl? Don't go to any fuss for me. Ooh. Hey, can I set the table? I'd really like to. Um, well? Uh, we never set the table, but let's do that. <laughs> Pull up a chair, Dan. Looks like we're having a formal dinner tonight. So, that friend of yours, Dan, he's like a mountain man? <laughs> yeah. He kind of is, but he's also a uh, pretty famous painter. Really? Yeah. Dan Daniels is his name. He moved out here years ago. I actually have a, uh, a book of his. I like this one. <laughs> I've seen this one before. You have? Are you sure? Yeah. I've definitely seen it. Is it is it in like an art museum or something like that? Well, it's called Bridge Over Blue River, but it doesn't say where it is, but I can ask him. I mean, maybe it'll tell us where you're from. Maybe. And when the presents were all unwrapped and Christmas Day was done, a single star shone in the sky, and its light warmed up the whole world. Oh. Let me 
it's not a very flattering picture. You do look a little surprised, but gets the job done. Oh my gosh. I think I had a pair of mittens just like that when I was a kid. Is that, is that possible that I could remember something from that far back? I don't think there's any rules to how this all works, but I mean, was it a good memory? Yes. I, I think I asked my mom for a pretty pair of mittens and she made them for me. Hmm. with all the snowflakes and, and the, the beads and even the ribbons. Yeah, it's a really good memory. Hey, um, when we were at the barbers and they were, they were setting up their tree, that was, that was really nice, wasn't it? Oh yeah, it was super beautiful. Yeah. So you thinking about getting a really huge tree for that big space? Well, I've definitely let Christmas sort of slide the last few years. And... After what you've been through, John, it's completely understandable. The kids would love it, though, wouldn't they? Oh, are you kidding me? With the energy that they have, they'd have that thing decorated in three <laughs> minutes flat. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hey, it's the sheriff. Sheriff! John, Maggie. Santa? Maggie, this is my deputy, Darren Wilkes. Oh. <laughs> is that your uniform? <laughs> it's my turn to be Santa in the Christmas pageant this year. Thought I'd walk around a little, get into the park. Now, you're that lady who's missing, aren't you? Or maybe I should say you're the one who's been found? Uh, I guess that's me, yeah. So, any news? Well, we uh, took your picture and description, put it out over the wire and around town. We also posted it to all those uh, missing person sites online. Have you seen the poster? It's not a very flattering photo. No, it's, it's, it's not really the point, man. <clears throat> Just stay positive. Somebody's bound to come forward. Definitely. Thank you, gentlemen. Enjoy. Have a nice evening. Okay. Honestly, after the storm that we've had, things move a little slowly, but I wouldn't worry. I have seen your face everywhere. You have? <laughs> yeah, I'm Brooke. I'm the sheriff's been putting your photos up all over town. Oh, okay. But you do look kind of familiar. Have we met? I don't know, have we? <laughs> you wouldn't know, because you don't remember anything. That is really stupid of me. It's like I got hit on the head. <laughs> Anyways, I know everyone in town, so I'll just keep asking around. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, anything but Johnny. <laughs> Okay. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Johnny. It was high school. Hmm. Hold it. Oh, come on. Come on, what about this guy right here? What do you think? Yeah! I think that's the one. You think that's the one? You guys too? Yeah. I'm cutting it down. I'm going in. Oh, this is definitely the one. <laughs> you ready? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Swing your elbow. We're going to overlap a little bit. Okay. This is not as easy as you would think. You got it. You got it. I do? I don't know. Oh, it feels very icy. Beautiful. Yours looks good. Can I do mine again? No, yours looks great. <laughs> Snow angels are supposed to be perfect icy. I see. Gosh. Well, I know I'm not very good at remembering things, but this is the most peaceful place I've ever been. Of that, I am sure. It's not always peaceful! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yes, you too! Not you too! Not my little angel! Somebody help me! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! All right, Jennifer, I don't mean to be a nudge since I was the one that sent you away, but you should call me, darling, just to let me know all is well. Okay, sweetheart? Call me. So, Dan, how did you decide to move here? Oh, I spent 15 years living in a big city. Some of them were good. But out here, I met a lot of good people. Made some loyal friends I can count on. 
And really, North Creek just seems to be the place I'm supposed to be. <laughs> Surrounded by people that I love. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that with me. Dinner is ready. Wow. I mean, that looks delicious. Did you make all this, like, from memory? Yes, I did. I have no idea how I knew how to do it, but I had a lot of fun. Okay, you gotta tell me, what is this? It's a holiday roast with root vegetables. Potatoes. They're not just potatoes. Oh, man. Look at that. Haricot vert, which means green beans in French. Which means I know French. <laughs> and a uh, Christmas pudding for dessert. Yummy. <laughs> you are a really, really good cook. I mean, you've got a serious knack for this. I do? Yeah. I do. It will come true. How did you learn that? My mommy sang it to me when I was little. Can you sing it one more time? Sure, sweetheart. Santa's life lies all night through Bringing joy to me and you Make a wish, make a dream If you believe Good. Hello, sweetheart. Good morning. See, you got a fire started. I did. Wow. There you go. Thank you. I look like a giant green bean. I'm supposed to be an owl. Oh, Daisy. But you're a really cute green bean. Maybe I can help you. Um, I think I can. I would just need a sewing kit. I think I can find one of those. Okay, come and watch your uh, step right there. Oh, thanks. Wow. Look at this great space. Thanks. It's cool, right? Yeah. <sighs> Julie used to uh, keep her, her horse out here. And I've been wanting to turn it into an animal hospital for a while now. I mean, I just love it if my clients didn't have to drive 60 miles to Boulder if their animal needs surgery, you know? Oh, yeah. I was actually meaning to ask you about her, about, about Julie. Oh, um, well, um, she passed away uh, a little over three years ago now, and, um, she wasn't, she wasn't sick for all that long, which was, which was good, you know, if, if anything good could come out of that. I'm so sorry. Oh, thanks. But actually, that's not really what I meant. I, I... I actually wanted to kind of hear, like, what what was she like? Like, a, a memory or something. Oh. Okay. Um, she would make freshly baked cinnamon bread every weekend for the family. She loved that. We would make sure to spend time together every evening after the day to talk about how things went, usually over a glass of wine, and that was really important to us, to do that. And she loved Christmas. I mean, Christmas was her holiday. She just, um, 
She just did it upright, homemade stockings for the kids. She did the handmade ornaments. She would always, she'd always make sure the kids would get one present that they really, really wanted, and then one present that she felt would make them better people. And you know, every year, just about every year anyway, the kids would really prefer that present anyway. You know? I don't know, this might sound strange, but she just had... She just had a wonderful scent. Like when I woke up in the morning, even before I opened my eyes, I would just know she was there. I just know that she was all around me. Wow. She sounds like an amazing person. You must miss her a lot. <clears throat> hey, you know, if you did turn this space into a, an animal hospital, then it would be like you were doing something for Julie. Like, in, in her memory, you know? You know, I honestly never thought about it like that. I like that. Got it. Great. What a, what a neat-looking sewing kit. Yeah. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. Whoop. A little Whoop. nervous? I can't wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah? They look so cute. We are. Hey. She's an elf among green beans. Santa's workshop far away. Santa's elves work night and day. These little elves make video games. These little elves give dolls their names. And Santa packs the gifts in his sleigh and takes them to kids on Christmas Day. Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Don't forget, in one hour is the lighting of the tree. Ho, ho, ho! Her costume really was amazing. I mean, thank you. Oh, uh, I think I might have overdone it a little bit. Oh, hey! Oh, there she is! I had the best costume ever! You did! I don't think Daisy mine. Yeah. You did! You look so good! Congratulations! Thanks, Daddy! Oh, you were so sweet. Everybody did a great job. Very good. Hey, you just might get it from Santa. Who knows? Hey! Who wants a hot chocolate? Me! Me too! You want one? Oh no, I, I ate like half a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, hey Kyle, help me out. Okay. We'll bring him back, okay guys? Okay. Maggie! Hey oh. kids! Hi. What a lovely Doctor. evening, huh? <laughs> Listen, Maggie, I wanted to talk to you about your car. We've been combing the woods looking for it, and I think we're closed. Hey! Hey! Hey, bro. Hey, how are you? I'm great, great, how are you? <laughs> Look at oh, that. <laughs> Wonderful. That's so. <laughs> okay, and you're holding up the mm. 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 Yeah, it, it it is it is a great great place to live. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! It's really pretty, huh? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. John, I have to tell you something. As much as I'm having the time of my life here, or as far as I know, I I, I think that um, I should probably find another place to stay, because I don't want to be selfish and come between you and Brooke. What? It's okay. I saw you guys. Oh. <laughs> Maggie, no. No, no. It's okay. You know, I just fell out of the sky like some crazy snowflake with no memory. I mean, there's a whole world here that I'm not a part of, and I, I get that. It wasn't a real kiss. It looked like a real kiss. It, well, I mean, it, it was a kiss, but it was because of the mistletoe. The point is, it wasn't real. I mean, we did go out on one date once, we but... We did. But it was so wrong. It was not right. 
She force-fed me tofu. I would never make you eat tofu. <sighs> Even if it did make you want to kiss me. Christmas has not been the same around here for a few years now, and and having you here with us, it just... You've made it feel special again. Really? Yeah. And you're wrong, you are part of this family. I mean, I mean, part of this world here, our world. You know, and I know you're part of another world too, and, and you're gonna figure out where that world is, but in, and until you do, I, I, I guess I'm just trying to say that we would love to have you stay with us here. Um, I guess there's a little bit too much sugar. <laughs> Better go. Sheriff, yeah, what's going on? Okay, I, um, yeah, I, I will absolutely tell her. Great, thank you. Bye. Tell me what? Well, as of uh, today, they're going nationwide to try and find out if someone's looking for you. So no no one has called? I mean, that, that means no one actually is looking for me. <laughs> no friends or family. I mean, it's it's been five days. Maybe I'm really a horrible person and nobody loves me. Oh, no, don't don't say that, really. I mean, you can't possibly be the person that we have come to know here without really touching people, really connecting to people back when your memory was fine. I think so. I guarantee that. They just haven't connected with us. It'll happen. Okay. Worst case scenario, you can always move in here with us. Really make a name for yourself, making thick elf costumes and roasting amazing root vegetables. <laughs> you know, they're not just potatoes. <laughs> Deal. Hey, how would you feel about holding down the fort for the day, you know, with the kids? I I've got to go into town, and if you're not up for it, it's, it's no problem. I, I mean, I could have Bunny come, but... You would trust me with your children? Yeah, of course I would. Okay, that would... That would be great. I would love that. Kids, what do you think? Maggie's gonna hang out with you for the day. Yeah! Yeah, I think they're good with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? That must have been fun. What was she like, your mom? She liked to laugh a lot. And play music. Her hair always smelled like toast. I'm too little to remember. And she liked to make everything nice. Like you. Yeah. My mom used to make things too. I feel like that's how I know how to make all this stuff. Because of her. Do you remember your mom? Yeah, you know, I, I think I... I'm starting to. Um, I did it! I was, uh, I was in town the other day and saw these beautiful red mittens in a shop window. And they look just like this pair that Mom made me when I was a little girl. So, yeah. Yeah, I remember her. <laughs> you know what? I think that you and I both had really great moms. That's what I think. Okay. Let's see how this one came out. This is my... <laughs> you just gotta cut like little parts of it, not like all the way through, because otherwise then you kind of cut all the connective tissue. But 
<laughs> Who wants to help me make a gingerbread house? Me! Alright, come on! Come on, Biscuit, come on! What brings you here? I mean, there's no mistletoe, you know. Ah, yeah, it's true. Um, well, I changed my mind, and I'd like to go ahead and file for those permits for reconstructing my barn. Ah. Yeah. Well, that's too bad. I, it would have been nice to have your office in town. You know, maybe we could have had lunch. Or... Oh, yeah, that's true. Let me get the forms and email them over to the county office. But are you going to go to the holiday party at the community center? because I'm serving the punch. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I wouldn't miss it. I'll see you there. Okay. Good. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you. What do you think? Uh, yeah, Dad, what do you think? I think it's beautiful. I think it's... it's magical. It reminds me of the way things used to be. You guys, this is the best surprise ever. Oh my God. And you couldn't have done it without Maggie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the cookies! Oh, oh. oh the cookies! <laughs> you guys, this is amazing. Good. Look at this. Huh? No, two more minutes. I, um... I really need to thank you for that. I mean, it's amazing, and it, it, it means a lot to me. Oh, no, I should be thanking you. I mean, while I was cutting the snowflakes and making the gingerbread houses with your kids, I started remembering something we used to do with my mom when I was a kid at Christmas. We used to make these little homemade cardboard ornaments where we'd fold cardboard into little boxes and then we'd cover it with foil and put glitter shapes of a Christmas tree or a cross or a star. and. And the house would always smell so delicious, like gingerbread, and there'd be Christmas music playing. And, and I, I remember all that, and I remember my mom. And I know it's from a really long time ago, but it, it's a really beautiful memory. It's coming back, so thank you. <laughs> that's great. I mean, that's, that's really great. Yeah. You know, I, I've been so focused on, like, who am I and where am I going? And I have to figure that out right now. But this is all kind of so good feeling and happy and... And I'm, I'm just wondering, maybe I could just forget all that for a few days and, and just enjoy Christmas? Would, would that be all right with you? Yeah, that's, that's okay. I, I would really love that. I mean, I think we would all love you to stay for Christmas. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Where are the cookies? Oh, there's no cookies. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, you don't like chocolate chip cookies, do you? Walk away from the cookies. Walk away from the cookies. Oh. Wait, you're coming to the party tomorrow night, right? What party? Oh, every year there's a uh, there's a big Christmas party at the community center. It's a lot of fun. There's a band. There's dancing. I mean, everybody from North Creek will be there. Oh, that sounds like fun. Um, do I need to dress up? Yeah. You don't need to dress up. I mean, you always you always look great. <laughs> it's nice to dress up. Okay. Okay, the serious look there. I get it. Wow. Cookies here. Yes. Maggie said we should save this star for you. She did. Thanks, buddy. Hey, I want to boost you up. You help me. Okay. Here we go. Up you go. Woohoo! All right. Let's see if you can reach it up there. Do your best. Good? You all right? Yeah. Okay, let's check that out. Nice job. Thank you. That looks great. That's what we needed. Mm -hmm. All right, Jennifer, you've got me really worried now, but you need to call me back now. Anything? Nope. No, it's from Shelley. She hasn't made it to the spa either. I am extremely concerned. 
All right, I'm going to call the airline. It's time to get on the plane. Brooke! What a surprise. What's, uh... Wow. Um, <gasps> did you do all this? No, 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 no. I just uh, cut down the tree and Maggie and the kids did uh, everything else. What, uh, what brings you out here? Oh, I, um... I brought the paperwork for the barn remodel. I just need a couple more signatures and then I can send it back. Oh. So you're doing the barn? Yeah. That's fantastic. Oh, hey, little Kevin. <laughs> it's Kyle. Oh. Really nice of you to bring this all the way out here. Thank you. Would you like a chocolate chip snowman? They're <gasps> really, really good. They're gorgeous. You know, I... Huh. I know I know you from somewhere. I just can't. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks a lot for uh, bringing them out. I love what you did with the place. Okay, yeah. Doesn't it look good? Okay. I'll see you at the party tomorrow um, night, okay? Sure. Safe okay. drive. Um, bye. Bye. I'll have a cookie. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Hey. Hey. Um, that was the sheriff. He feels like he's getting closer and might even um, know something tomorrow. Okay. Well, I guess we'll find out tomorrow then. I guess so. Knock, knock. What's for dinner? <laughs> Hi, Maggie. Hi, Dan. Ma. What? You just handed me that. Where's your mind at? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about Maggie. Actually, I mean, it's so interesting. Cause she says that she's she's happy here. And I know it's been nuts. But I love having her here. The kids love having her here. Well, that's all good. But it's going to end. I mean, she's going to figure out who she is and, and where she's from, and then, then she's going to go back there, so. So what do I do? When I was nine years old, up behind my daddy's barn, I found a baby rabbit. Brought it in. And I bottle fed that little guy for six weeks. And one day my mama says to me, if I love something, I had to let it go and see if it came back. So I went outside, set it down, and it hopped away. I never saw that bunny again. Dan, are you comparing Maggie to a baby rabbit? No. Of course not. I'm saying everything happens in its own good time. If someday she has to leave, then she has to leave. It's enough to just be happy right now. Just be happy now. It's the hardest thing you ever do. Oh, I used to wear this on Christmas when I was dating him. It is so pretty on you. Oh, thanks, honey. It's, it's beautiful. Oh. Of course, sweetheart. You know, now that our Julie is no longer with us, the holidays have been a little bit different around here. Still nice, but different. But this year, well, it's feeling like Christmas again. And it feels good. Christmas is beautiful, isn't it? Getting to be with the people that you care about and sharing the traditions with the children. <laughs> I feel like I forgot all of that a long time ago, but it's coming back to me now. <laughs> well, if this is what this experience has brought into your life, then it's been worth it, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as crazy as that sounds, yeah. <laughs> well, I have to tell you that I love the way John is with you around. <laughs> The kids, too. 
You've been a nice addition to this family this past week. And it makes me happy to see it. Thank you for what you said, Bunny. Oh, you're so welcome. She's Jennifer Wade. From New York. Paula Marshall. Paula Marshall. Hi, this is Brooke Hansen. I'm calling from North Creek, Colorado. I have some really interesting information regarding your client, Jennifer Wade. If you want to call me back at this number, that would be great. Thank you. Everybody, everyone gets to open one present today. Okay. All right. <laughs> Here, you go first. All For right. Me? This one's from. Thanks. Okay. Mm -hmm. How beautiful. John, you pick those up? Well, actually. Maggie did, I guess, right? I mean, you said they gave you a good memory, and I thought that we could use all the help that we can get. Thank you so much. <laughs> I don't know what to say. They're beautiful. I love them. But I, I didn't, I didn't get you guys anything. What do you mean? You, you just being here is like the best Christmas present we could ever ask for. Really, I think we all agree with that, right? Yeah. yeah. Don't you see? You brought Christmas back to our family. Looks like we found it. Bye, Dad. Okay, bye. Here, let me get you going. Thank you. Hi. Uh, Merry almost Christmas. <laughs> Merry, Merry almost, almost Christ Christmas. <laughs> uh, Maggie, you look just uh, lovely in that dress. Oh, thank you. Uh, it's bunnies, actually. Oh. And I love that color in you. It really brings out your eyes. Thank you. <laughs> we should uh, go find the kids. Okay. 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 Nights here in this valley, here in. This
this life The cars The passing by It's days and nights And headlights This is nice Am I the only one Yes it is It's coming undone Am I the only one Maggie, I gotta tell you and I know, someday you're going back to where you're from. But right here, right now. What? Go on. Where is she? Where is she? Uh, oh gosh. I'm sorry. I am looking for someone. Paula. Jennifer. Oh. There you are. Thank goodness. Oh, sweetie. Thank goodness. You, honey, you had me so worried. I thought something awful had happened to you. And, well, here you are having fun at a, at a party. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Jennifer, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Hey, I'm so glad you're okay. Um, Who's this? This is so confusing. We found it! What? We found the car! What? We covered everything. My car? You had a car accident, your vehicle went off the road, but it had everything in it, your bags, ID. Oh. Sheriff stayed back to clear up the site, but he sent me with this. Your, uh... Jennifer... Wade. <laughs> I'm Jennifer Wade. I remember my name. <laughs> and... I'm from New York, and this is Paula, my friend, my friend who came looking for me. Thank you. And, uh... Uh, and this is Brad? Right, it's Brad, Paula's boyfriend. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Brad, your boyfriend. I don't think so. So how did you find me? I had a very helpful phone call from a woman named, uh, Brooke. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's me. So you, you remembered where you knew me from? It was the interview in Aroma magazine. You knew when? Last night. And you called them, not us? Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to tell you as soon as you guys arrived. <laughs> Everyone just seems so happy. I, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay that you didn't tell me because it gave me today. We had today. We had a lot of days. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. And thank you all of you for making me feel so welcome. You really should see a doctor in the city. So, honey, we gotta go home now. But I, I don't... I don't want to just leave. We got a flight to catch. I got you a spot on the Networks float for the Christmas Day Parade. Next to me. Yes, right? <laughs> don't go. Oh, oh. Sweetheart. I, I, I wish I didn't have to, but I think I do. I love you. I love you, too. I love all of you. Okay, guys. Okay. I always knew. I knew you had to go. Just don't forget us. Ever. We gotta go. Excuse us. Come, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I have your bags. Everything's gonna be there waiting. Kids. Thank you. But we gotta rush. I am so glad. Now, I want you to stay a few days here with me. At least until we can get you checked out by a doctor. Then you can go back to your place. I'm, I'm fine, Paula. How did you live out there with those people for a week? I mean, it's so... 
Not New York. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna get a drink. Okay. You know where it is. Make yourself at home. Darling, how are you feeling? Are you happy to be back? I don't know. Well, you will feel better once you get back into the routine of things. Lots of exciting things happened while you were away. We got a call from, uh... You know what? Maybe we'll... Maybe we'll talk about this a little later. I'll go put the kettle on. What are you doing awake? You should be asleep, my lady. I'm writing a letter to Santa asking him for what I want. Oh, well, that's a very smart thing to do. What do you want? It's a secret or else it won't come true. But I can tell you, I want him to bring Maggie back on his sleigh. Hmm. I will make sure Santa gets your letter and you get to sleep, okay? Come on now, get in there. Sweet dreams. I am just gonna pop over to your apartment and pick up a few things since everything was destroyed in the crash. Oh, how long have you had that? What? The painting? Just a few years. It's beautiful. I know the artist. Honey, why don't you go and soak in the tub? I will be back before you know it. Brad, hmm? you can drive me. Yeah, sure. Just let me know when you're ready. Yeah, I'm just going to grab my purse. What you got there? Hand-me-downs? Brad, who do you think that I am? You know who you are. You're Jennifer Wade. I, I think that the definition of who that is has changed. Or maybe I'm actually now who I was always meant to be. I'm really sorry, Brad. You're, you're a wonderful guy, and you're going to make some lucky woman incredibly happy. It's just not going to be me. Paula, you don't need to go to my apartment. I... Wow. Stop. Make no apology. Do not explain. You go do what you got to. I'll make sure that there's a ticket waiting for you. Thank you, Paula. Wow. You're an angel and a wonderful friend. I wish you both a very wonderful Christmas. Oh, sweetie. Merry Christmas to you, too. Okay, so am I driving you or not? Here you go, Jamie. I bet you can't guess what that is. Kyle, here you go. John. What is this? I think you're gonna like it. Open it. Hey guys, it's from Maggie. Wow, wow so it looks cool. beautiful. It's the coolest present ever, from Maggie. Look at all the animals. I wish I could take a bite. <laughs> oh. It's our barn for the animals. And there's you, Dad. It, it's all of us. It's the prettiest thing I've ever seen. It's amazing. That's it, guys. Enough of this. Everybody up. I want you to get your coats on, because we're going to get her. Come on! <laughs> coats on! Coats on! <laughs> what about boots? What about boots? Arm. 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 Merry 
Christmas. Merry Christmas. Kids, come in. Let's give them some privacy. Come on. Let's go to the presents. Open some more presents. Hi. Hi. I'm Jennifer Wade from New York. I don't have any family. I'm not sure if I will ever get 100% of my memory back. But I know that I love your kids. And I love your dog. And I'm a pretty decent cook. I like Jennifer from New York as much as Maggie from North Creek, right? You know that. You do? Yeah. Well, what would you say to Jennifer from North Creek? I'd say I like that a lot. Merry Christmas. Come on, let's go inside. Okay. Well, I hope you've all really enjoyed our holiday edition of Homestyle. Yeah. I'm Jennifer Blake, and this is my family. How is it? Good! <laughs> And from all of our family and everyone here in North Creek, we wish you a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And that's a cut. <laughs> that seemed to go pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All I know is this is a Christmas I will never forget. Ooh. Lachlan oh, no. is back in an all-new garage sale mystery. What about this painting? A priceless art piece is uncovered. Somebody there? And becomes the portrait for the perfect murder. Accidental death, she fell down, hit her head. We have no crime to talk about. Someone is getting away with murder. You know what happens next. An all-new garage sale mystery movie, The Art of Murder, Sunday, January 8th at 9, on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries.